Good morning, everyone. Um, I wanted to do a quick little tutorial slash PSA about uh, the importance of keywording your images in Lightroom or whatever you use, Capture One, whatever it might be. Um, things like your keywords, uh, your title, your description, you know, copyright, all that kind of stuff. Um, just because I'm going through the process of something right now where I'm creating a new gallery on, on a website called Art Storefronts and having done all this in the past has saved me so much time so I want to make sure I pass it on to you guys so hopefully you can start doing it as you're creating new images um, so you know here we have an image I'm just gonna kinda show you what I do briefly um, here's an image I edited and when I was done with it I on this right side I type in keywords um, you know I do things like the date the place you know what state um, maybe what was going on bolt from the blue positive strike what camera I shot it with? Was there mountains? Um, was it monsoon? You know, the monsoon season, lightning, rain, a sunset. You know, whatever it might be, and um, and I fill it in here, and then I also come down and title it something, and then put a caption in there. There's copyright information that happens every time I import images in the Lightroom or sync them. It applies my copyright, copyright status, my name, and, and all that. And you can do that with a preset on your import um, in Lightroom. Yeah, here's, a, here's a sample of it. If you go to import, um, apply during import, I have a little metadata thing called copyright. I can edit it. Let's see what it looks like. Um, Mike. MOP copyright and you can see here that I fill this stuff in I've got um, zip code website blah 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 all kinds of information so you can um, you can do that which kind of does a lot of um, initial stuff and then when you're done editing an image then you want to do these keywords keywords are great in Lightroom because you could also if I can get this to work you know if I wanted I could go here um, where is that? How do I pick up keywords? So if I go keywords and I can say lightning and it should pop up any uh, images that have lightning in it. As you can see you know, from this year, a lot of them have lightning. And so since I've tagged them with that, they pop up in this. So, you know, I could se select my entire library and search for everything that had lightning or mountains or Arizona. So, um, so that's one um, key reason to do it, and it's good for you to just get in practice with it. And and the other thing I do, which is just kind of extra than the keywords, is once I uh, create these images, I have collections over here um, for kind of a port. They're basically portfolio. So everything I edit this year, I drag and keep in this collection. Here's all the photos from 2018, the monsoon that I edited, and kind of have this here in a portfolio. I have outside Arizona storm chasing, and so this is any image I've ever captured out on the plains. All the you know supercells and tornadoes, I keep them all in one place, and um, everything should be keyworded. But as you might note, whatever I just clicked on, this first ugly one from years ago, I don't really have anything in here. Um, so, so why is it important? I mean, it's important for yourself. It's important for your own Lightroom catalog, but if you um, go to certain websites and upload your images you know here's an example if I go to Flickr and I uploaded this image guess what it populates it with all my keywords it'll pop in the title it'll pop in the description automatically so if I wanted I could you know write that stuff in Lightroom export it to my hard drive and upload it to Flickr and then just post it and I'd be done instead of you know sometimes I write a, a different description for social media and you know, I write some on Facebook and I'll use it here on Flickr but but that stuff will just kind of go right into Flickr automatically. So think about every time you upload a photo, you started having to type in a description or type in keywords everywhere you posted. The other example, so here is art storefronts, okay? So um, this is a website where I will have um, you know new portfolio, new gallery, online gallery where people can purchase prints. So this is kind of what it looks like on the front page. You can click on... Um, bestsellers and see a bunch of photos so what's um, what's been important about the fact that I've been doing keywording and titles and descriptions for so long is that when I upload these photos and they become part of um, this warehouse here in art storefronts they have titles already see that every one of them has a title and if I were to click on them so here's um, here's the information on uh, my image it has a title 
It has all the keywords that we put in there. It has the description, um, which I obviously did not type correctly, but it has a description in there already. And which, which is great because I uploaded it to here. I click on this to go look at it if I wanna purchase it. And you can see here, I've got a title. I've got a little description up here already. And, um, and the other part is I can also type in, you know, keywords or I can type in a search and since all my images have keywords in them it's gonna pop up everything that returns lightning Woo! I mean um, this is pretty cool and it's a nice feature and it probably wouldn't happen unless I had already done that with my images can you imagine if I had to come in here and upload 300 photos that I've you know taken over the years and then gone through and added title and added keywords and description to all of them for this gallery I mean I would probably not do it I'd give up and say this is too much work or I'd pay someone to do it but they wouldn't know what to put in there so anyway so that's kind of showing you you know maybe a good reason you know sometimes people have been back in the day like why do I need to learn math there's no reason for it I don't ever use it later well I know some people that probably think, why do I need to put keywords in Lightroom and all that stuff? It's just for me, Lightroom's just for me. But you find out later, if you do something like this or, um, or whatever, um, having all that metadata, the keywords and all that stuff in there is, is and could be super duper helpful to you. So that's our quick tip for today. You know, thanks for watching. Thanks for um, subscribing on Patreon um, if you're watching this there. I will probably start making these maybe live on YouTube after like two or three months, but I want to obviously make sure that my patrons see it first. Um, again, I appreciate your guys' support, and um, I hope you enjoyed this.